You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. Okay guys, there's a bit of a story to this one, because this person sent me five different videos from different locations, so I'm going to do all of them in a bit of a lightning round format. When I looked at the first video, before I knew that there were four more coming, I saw at the beginning of the video what I thought was one of my Find Me signs. You can print those from my website, by the way. Anyway, something looked kind of off about the sign, so I stopped to look at it, and I realized that this is not me. It looks kind of like Samuel L. Jackson. But anyway, I figured the person was just goofing around. What I didn't realize is that there were more videos coming and that each one would have a different bald celebrity on the sign. So I got one with Larry David, one with Dwayne Johnson, and actually not one, but two with Jeffrey Tambor. I don't know if they just ran out of bald celebrities or if they were tired of making new signs. Anyway. I thought once I figured out where the first video was recorded that I could probably find the other ones pretty easily because they would probably be pretty close to each other. But boy, was I wrong about that. Okay, let's look at each one. This video shows kind of a park or garden type area. You can see these stone structures sticking out of the ground here. I was not 100% sure what I was looking at. They were too big to be benches, and I thought maybe they were like old chest tombs. Anyway, the video also showed us the corner of this Crown Plaza Hotel. I had a feeling this was probably Europe because of this cab over style truck that we see very briefly. So I started looking at photos of Crown Plaza hotels in cities in Europe, focusing on ones that were at least partially made of brick. And honestly, it didn't take too long to find the King's Cross Crown Plaza in London. And while the front of the building doesn't look like what we see in the video, this corner of the building does. And when I looked nearby, I found St. Andrew's Garden, which is described on Google Maps as a public garden in a former burial ground. You are just outside St. Andrew's Garden, in London, England. There's no Google Street View inside the garden, but I was able to get this view from just outside of the gate, which you were standing on the other side of in your video. I also got a view of that Crown Plaza Hotel. In this second video, we can see a street which once again looks like it's probably in Europe, but maybe not London. I didn't have to look too hard for clues though, because we can see these signs right across the street, including one for Kolkovne restaurant, at least I think I'm saying that correctly, and that helped me find it pretty quickly. You were on this street, in Stare Miesto, Prague, in the Czech Republic. You are standing right here in front of this statue of Franz Kafka. This next video starts with a picture of Dwayne Johnson and then shows the person climbing a spiral staircase in what appears to be a rather old building. Let's face it guys, all the buildings in Europe are kind of old compared to the US. Anyway, once the person gets to the top of the stairs, they show us this rather spectacular view and we get a couple key clues. The most obvious ones were this Hungarian flag and this flag that says Hegvideki, which is a municipality in Budapest. Once I knew that, it was pretty easy to find. You're at the Elizabeth Lookout Tower in Budapest, Hungary. There's no Google Street View here, but I was able to find this YouTube video which shows someone climbing the same stairs and showing a very similar view from the top of the tower. Okay, the first video that used the Jeffrey Tambor sign was in a slightly harder to find location. The signs are in German here, so I figured I should probably be looking in Germany or Austria, though it could be other places. We see this sign here that says Herren Friseur. That's a barber shop. I also noticed that it said CHC on it, so I googled for Herren Friseur CHC, and I got two results right away. The first was in Munich, and that wasn't right. But the second was in Vienna, and that was right. You were here in Leopoldstadt, Vienna, Austria. I used Google Street View to get a photo down the street like you showed us in the video, and the other view that you gave us just across the way. This last video had some clues that could throw you off and make you think it's Italy at first, but it's not. For example, the video opens with this view of this hotel that says Albergo Milano. But this is not in Italy, it is actually in an area of Switzerland where Italian is predominantly spoken. And I know that it's Switzerland because you show us this train station here. The train station has a sign that says SBB CFF FFS. SBB stands for Schweizerischen Bundesbahnen. CFF is for Chemin de Fer Ferrero Suisse, and FFS stands for Ferrovie Ferrare Svizzere. In other words, Swiss Federal Train, auf Deutsch, en Français et in Italiano. Once I saw that, I just searched for Albergo Milano in Switzerland, and I found it pretty quickly. You were here, near the train station, in Mendrisio, Switzerland. I used the Google Street View to get a view of the hotel, and also the train station to help me find this place. I was really intrigued about how this person collected these videos. Was it one person traveling around Europe, or was it many different people in different locations? These videos were all sent to me within a very short period of time, but I had no way of knowing when they were recorded. Andrizio and London are pretty far away from the other locations, but Prague, Vienna, and Budapest are not that far from each other. Vienna is only about 250 to 300 kilometers from both of those two locations. That's about 150 to 200 miles. So that's totally drivable or doable by train. Though whenever I say stuff like this, I have to remember that quote about how an Englishman thinks 100 miles is a long way and an American thinks 100 years is a long time. So it really depends on your point of view. 
Anyway, I tried to look at the videos and see if there was anything in them that would help me figure out if they were recorded by the same person. Two of the videos, the one in London and the one in Prague, did not show the person recording at all. But the other videos show us the person's hand, or at least their left thumb. I believe that the thumb that we're seeing in the Vienna and Mendrisio videos is the same thumb. And I say that because it looks like the same jagged thumbnail that we see in both videos. Also, those are the two videos that use the Jeffrey Tambor signs, and I'm pretty sure it's the exact same piece of paper because we can see the same creases in the paper. But the video from Budapest looked like it might be a different thumb. The cuticle looks a little bit different, and also the thumbnail itself appears to be a little bit taller than the one in the other two videos. So I could be wrong here, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that video was recorded by a different person than recorded the other two. So I think we had at least one accomplice in this. Anyway, this was a fun one to do, even though the locations themselves weren't that difficult to find. If anybody else would like me to find them, record a video where you say, find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that, on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.